big evening. We are in the final stretch of election day. If you haven't voted, you still have 30 minutes to do so. Polls close at 730. We are watching plenty of races tonight, but the big one is for Cincinnati mayor. The two candidates are incumbent John Cranley and Councilwoman Yvette Simpson. It has been a busy few weeks for each candidate on the campaign trail, and in a matter of hours, we should know the winner. We have live team coverage of the race for Cincinnati mayor. Nine on your sides, Ashley Zilka is live at Yvette Simpson's watch party. We begin, though, with our Tom McKee, who is covering the Cranley campaign tonight. Tom. Well, the city has made a lot of progress the past four years, but there is still plenty of work to do, and that has been John Cranley's pitch to voters during this entire campaign to try to get four more years in the mayor's office. Of course, we know that in May he lost the Yvette Simpson in the primary, and that, he says, has made him feel like the underdog in this particular race. Of course, the mayor voted this morning in Hyde Park along with his son, Joe, and his wife. He called the primary election results a wake-up call, prompting him to knock on more doors and call more prospective voters. And he said he's listened to what they had to say to him. What I hear is people want to see more cops on the street. I'm glad that we've hired 100 more cops, but we need to put more on there. They want us to continue to pick up the litter, which we're doing, but we need to do more of. They're hearing that uh, they want us to pave more roads, which we're doing more of, but they want to hear more of that too. And they want us to help uh, reduce the poverty, which we're also working on. Of course, Yvette Simpson has been knocking on doors and calling potential prospective voters as well. My colleague Ashley Zilka is with her campaign tonight in the Over the Rhine. Ashley, what's the mood there? What's the sentiment? What's Ms. Simpson saying? Well, Tom, people are starting to show up here at Queen City Radio for Yvette Simpson's campaign party. But as for Simpson herself, she is still out there campaigning, visiting different polling locations across the city. I've been speaking to supporters and they are energized. They truly believe Simpson will win tonight. Now, Simpson and her team have made a strong final push for votes by door knocking in neighborhoods and making about 80,000 calls over the weekend. Today is no exception. The councilwoman has been on the move since 6.30 this morning when polls first opened. Simpson is hoping voters want to see change in Cincinnati. Her campaign has focused on public transportation, neighborhoods, and of course, violence prevention. I met up with Simpson at Pleasant Hill Academy where she talked to me about this experience. It's been amazing. You know, I mean, I think, you know, politics is tough. Running a campaign is tough. It's hard work. It gets ugly, and I can't excuse that. That part is just horrifying, and it's no one should ever have to go through it. But the energy of people is just so alive. I mean, to have people say, man, you're right here. I get to meet you. I get to touch you. You're that Simpson. Uh, and for them to feel hopeful about our city's future again, it's really amazing. Now, Simpson beat current mayor John Cranley in the May primary by 11 percent. She says as long as there's not a need for a recount tonight, she will be satisfied by beating him only by 1 percent. I will be here at Queen City Radio all night. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter to see what's happening. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.